just like always, you want to make sure you've got yourself the clips ready. And you also want to make sure that you've got yourself a non copyrighted song. So the one I'm going to use is right here. And I'm going to left click and drag this into Vegas Pro. So the next thing to do is you want to right click in the empty area and create yourself a video track. And we're going to listen to the music. And it starts off real nice and slow. So this is a perfect opportunity for a fade in. And we're going to start on this clip right here. We're going to left click and drag this into Sony Vegas. Now we're going to drag this one on a new layer and we're going to click on this one, press U and then press delete on the actual track since we don't really need it. And we're going to go into the top right corner of it. And when the icon pops up like this, you can add yourself a fade in. So we're going to set it to about all the way up to here, right click on it and then set it to a nice smooth linear ramp. We can trim this down if we want to. So I'd say right about here is enough. So we're going to press S and press delete. And with the second clip, we're going to drag this into the timeline. And you want to make sure that the automatic crossfade is turned on, which is this button right here. And set it to about, let's say 20, it just gives it even more smoothness to it. So if we wanted to, we could go into here and where the music gets really quiet, we can once again split it. We can press delete, drag the corner of it, bring in another clip, bring this one back to here. And we want to give this one a fade in. And if we have a look at the ramp, we want to make sure Yes, okay, there we go. We're going to go forward a frame to right about here. And this will basically make it so once it's faded, it automatically, boom, appears again. And now we're going to move on to the next one, which is going to be a lot more cutting up and chopping up the video. Because if you listen to the music, you have a lot of beats where it goes dum Dum, dum, so personally, I would say right about where it goes, but -dum that's when we're going to move on to the next clip. If you go to the very last one, which is right about here, we're going to press S and we're going to go a little bit further down. So right about here, let's say press S, get rid of the middle bit and then bring this one back. So this will actually skip a step. And if we preview this, You can see every time it goes, tss, that's when, you know, it splits. If you see areas like this right here, we've got a little bit of a bump in the audio. We can then go onto here, make sure you've gone a little bit in front of it, press S to split up the video. And then of course, go a little bit further down the line, press S, and then of course, one more time and get yourself a little segment right here. And you want to click on this one, hold shift, click on the last one, drag this out, you want to click on this one, the segment that you created, hold control, and then left click and drag this out to here and this will duplicate it. You can then hold shift, click on the last one and then drag this back to here. And what this will do is it will make it so it looks like this. And then finally, of course, we're going to also look at the reverse of the video. So if we listen to the audio, it is right about here where it starts to rewind. And we want to go ahead and delete the last clips. We want to drag this out until the video starts to go back to the beginning. We're going to start right about here is where the reversing will start. And we want to press S, go up to here, split this one up, and then you want to drag this out. You want to then click on this one, hold control, and then drag this out, and get yourself a copy of it. You want to connect this one back together and you want to click on this one, right click on it. And then you want to go ahead and go down to reverse. We're also going to get rid of this one and then drag another copy of this one right here to match it with this one. So we're going to drag this out up to here, 
and it should look something like this. And that is how you sync up your music with your videos.